Hello, I'm Scott Dalt, and I, we're at the Bowersville location of Suivo Corporation, and we supply living basil to Harris Teeter. This facility that we're going to be touring today is approximately 52,000 square feet, where we have about 50 to 52,000 basil plants, anything from just seeded to the finished product, where it will be packaged in our sleeve and be delivered to the store. This is the packaging you'll find the live basil at your Harris Teeter near the tomatoes. It is in a biodegradable, earth-friendly bag. When you take it home, you can pull it out of the bag, put the cube, which is a sterile cube, so there is no dirt in your kitchen counter. You just take and keep the cube in a little saucer of water, and it'll stay fresh for two to three weeks. Here at Suiva Corporation, we chose to grow hydroponically. It takes up a lot less land, and I'm able to provide fresh herbs year-round to Harris Teeter customers. This is step one of the basil. These have just been seeded today. This is a root cube made of peat moss and pine bark. The seeds are placed on top, then they're put in the floating tray and is put in propagation area number one. Well, we've seen it where it was first planted. Now we're looking at plants that are approximately 10 days old. As you can see, the plant is growing about an inch and a half. It has its true leaves and is starting to get the root system. We've seen propagation bed number one. The basil is now about 10 to 14 days old. As you can see, the basil starts to touch each other and it's starting to get nice and full. So to keep that basil nice and full through the life of the plant, what we're gonna do is we're gonna split it, which means stagger the basil in every other hole. This prevents the legginess of the basil and it gives it nice full leaves. Now that the basil's been staggered in every other hole, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in propagation bed number two. Propagation number one and two are also hydroponic. They are ponds. These flats that the basil is in now will float in there. It has a pump which circulates the water, aerates the water, and also has nutrients. As you can see, these have been staggered about three, three or four days now. And you can see once the plant gets used to being in this propagation area, it really starts to get the big leaves. This is from propagation number two. As you can see, the plants are nice and full again, it's getting the real large leaves. We have empty gullies because we harvested for Harris Teeter this morning. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna transplant these plants into the finishing holes. These plants will stay in here until we harvest them approximately about two or three weeks from now. Now that we've seen the seeding, we've seen propagation one, propagation two, and we've done all the transplanting, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack the product. We pack directly out of the gullies so that it would prevent any overhandling of the product or bruising of the leaves. We take and open the bag up, add a little water to the bag, so during transportation, the roots don't dry out. We'll put it in the bag and it's ready for transportation. That's the tour of our facility. I wanna thank you and Harris Teeter for giving us this opportunity to teach a little bit about hydroponics and also showing you exactly where our, the live fresh basil comes from. For more information, you can go to our website at sweetwatergrowers.com to get recipes or more interesting ideas using your fresh basil.